Hello, I'm Liz Zorab and this is By the Farm. Today I thought, well, I thought we'd have a quick look back at some changes. <laughs> I was watching a video last night from last March. Uh, I can't believe how many changes there have been here in that time, particularly around the edges of the land. A couple of years ago, uh, my friend Jane and I planted a hedge around the perimeter. We just little sticks, uh, rooted cuttings about a foot high. Oh, <laughs> all the way around <laughs> the Indian game bird. <laughs> started crowing and every time he does he sort of jumps backwards in shock that he's made the noise <laughs> and it's a very silly noise but anyway so put the sticks in but eight but 18 months later uh, we've now got hedge plants some of them that are uh, as tall as me uh, a few of them are much taller I'm really pleased And this willow tree behind me uh, was not really not much taller than me. In fact, it might not even be as tall as me. Uh, when we arrived here and uh, our previous owners had planted it uh, in the corner of the shrubbery. Well, I lifted it and put it in the hedge in the west boundary, but the wind was just too strong and blew it over uh, numerous times. So I then lifted it again and brought it into this more central place where it's a bit sheltered by the mature fruit trees and it has done so well. My guess is it's 15 to 20 feet high. It's a good 10 feet across and it has just flourished. Uh, I'm really very pleased. A year ago today, uh, I started my uh, 50 days of harvest project, which I did for seven and a bit weeks during the uh, late summer and early autumn last year. And what a great project that was. Uh, it was a very hot and sunny day when I started that. Well. I'm really not going to complain. We've had almost a week of rain. I'm beginning to get a bit fed up with it feeling quite so sticky because uh, it is warm and wet, but I'm so pleased I've had the rain. The plants are pleased. Everything's thriving. <laughs> Beans are growing. Uh, they're growing big. They're growing fat. Uh, and which I'm delighted about because these ones, uh, we're having the, the beans that are on the inside of the pod. Uh, it's all looking, apart from soggy, it's looking very good. The other thing that I've noticed is that um, because it was so dry and so many things went to seed really quickly, uh, now we've got the moisture. All those weeds are, are sprouting away. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to be using the hoe, um, chopping them down, using them as a chop and drop so they actually then become a bit of a mulch. Uh, which is great news. And while I'm out here, uh, I'm going to pick a few of the runner beans, uh, not the very big ones, uh, but some of the quite small ones, um, because they're more tender, less woody, uh, and then we're going to have those with our lunch today. And the other thing I'm going to do today uh, is harvest a few of the Greek Gigantes beans, which uh, you don't eat the pod at all, you only eat the bean inside them. But I think several of them are now ready. Uh, I've noticed a few of the pods actually splitting open, uh, which would imply that the beans are ready to be harvested. They're still not huge yet. Um, so about twice the size uh, that the bean in a runner bean would be, uh, but they should get much bigger than this and I think that this size is due to the uh, very dry weather that we had uh, earlier well for all of the summer up until this week mm. 
more of these that I can harvest at a time, uh, the better for me because I can just uh, blanch them all and get them into the freezer in one batch, uh, which just makes, makes life simpler for me. But if needs be, uh, I can dry them out and these ones can be uh, seeds for next year or they can use be dried beans for me to rehydrate during the winter. Well, that's it for me today. I'm heading inside to get this lot uh, prepared and into storage. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me tomorrow.